We're at the chapel in Barrington, Illinois, and... This is 178! He is just a puppy. Loves all his doggy bones, can't hold his pee. Crying when we lock him out of his hole. His what? TP. There it is. Good morning, dusty shelves and jolly old elves. It's Sunday. We got church, we got lunch with friends, we got a speaking gig tonight, then we got relaxation. Okay, sweet back. Hmm. Give us a 10 second recap of the lesson at church today. Make the good news of Jesus your life work. Make sharing the good news of Jesus your life work. Good work. We're now going to get some lunch with some friends. They're usually pretty excited about the vlog. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. Whose camera is that? The government. Let's get. Let's get. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're back. Lunch is done. I have to be at this speaking gig in like an hour. Lunch was fun, but it was three hours. So much fun, but three hours. Three hours of joy and laughter and friends. So now I gotta get myself ready and then go to this speaking gig. So I woke up this morning and what usually happens to me when I wake up on a day where I have to do a speaking gig is the first thought I have when I wake up actually is, I don't want to do this today. Just because like going somewhere to speak, it's obviously nerve wracking because you have to get up and speak in front of people, but also like you have to meet new people. It's sort of like you don't do a ton of planning beforehand. Most of the time, this is like my first time I'm meeting the person who's hosting me as well as everyone I'm speaking to. It just takes a lot of energy. I got to drive there. I got to get there. I got to plan the talk. I got to do the talk. It's just so much that I'm like, it would be so much easier to just stay home and sit on my couch today. However, Whenever I do get off my couch and I do go to the speaking gig, I'm always glad I did it. I never leave there and say, eh, I should have just stayed on the couch today. I'm always glad I did it. And I know tonight is gonna be no different. I think with most things that are good for us, it starts with we don't really wanna do them. But when we find the courage or when we find the energy or when we find the motivation to actually get up and do the thing, we're almost always glad we did it. Now let's go be glad we did this one, shall we? Hi there. Hi, Kim. So I am. Just finished up. All went well. I think I'm gonna upload this. I think I'm gonna upload this talk coming up on Friday, so be on the lookout for it. Hello, everyone. Sweet man. Sweet man. There was a ton of leftovers at Air's parents tonight. Tomorrow's cheat day. Every this will serve me well. Like. So ending this vlog with bedtime is becoming like a somewhat of a tradition. 
Something that Buckets likes to do every night is he likes to steal my spot in the bed. Right, sweet bath? Mm-hmm. It's about time for you to move, dude. All right, I'm gonna deal with this. I love you all. I hope you've had a great day. I hope you're having a great start to your week. I love you all. I truly do. Keep being awesome.